uh, an inborn error metabolism. It's a defect in in uh, um, the metabolism of galactose, which is a, um, a, a, a natural sugar that we get from our diet, usually as part of, of disaccharides uh, in combination with um, with uh, other um, uh, sugars. But uh, the problem is that that uh, uh, the the this this is the second step in the in the pathway. Galactose is got has a, a phosphate group added to it by galactokinase, and then the next step in the enzyme is a, is a more complicated reaction um, uh, metabolized by um, an, an enzyme called GALT or uh, uh, which is which is uh, uh, takes takes the, um, the 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 activated galactose um, and runs it runs it further down in the pathway. Ultimately, this stuff uh, goes goes into um, the the glucose breakdown pathway. Galact uh, the um, um, uh, for 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 uh, um, to to make uh, to make energy and. Um, you know, we uh, galactose is 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 one of the sugars that makes up lactose, and so you, uh, it's a it's a it's a natural sugar um, in our in our in our diet. Early on, it 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 largely causes, um, strangely enough, liver disease. So so prior to newborn screening, patients would show up with um, uh, E. coli sepsis and liver failure. Um, in in the in the newborn period, and kids would die of of either the liver disease or the, or the sepsis, and and so once it was um, recognized as a, as an entity, and you, you it was you could that you could uh, fix it by um, at least that part of it by by getting galactose out of the diet, the kids didn't die in the newborn period anymore, um, but they also had uh, a, a, a this this constellation of a fairly characteristic. Um, um, uh, neurophysiologic changes um, that that um, are milder, for example, than PKU, the, the 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 disorder that's caused by an accumulation of phenylalanine, which leads to devastating neurologic problems. Galactosemia uh, causes milder symptoms. Um, it it it's it's. Um, um, uh, patients uh, have have um, uh, can have mild developmental delay, uh, but they have very characteristic speech deficits, speech apraxia. Um, they they have um, some mild um, um, motor functions, a dysfunction with with uh, a, fair, a fairly prominent uh, tremor that gets worse with with age and can prevent things from you know like fine motor motor. Um, uh, uh, or problems and difficulty with writing when they get to school, things like that. Um, so, and 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 we don't exactly know what um, uh, what 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 causes it. Um, the, the, there's there's a there's a related disease, the, 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 that first step in the pathway that 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 activates galt to the uh, to uh, galactose to the the, the galactose one phosphate. Um, and and um, uh, that that disorder doesn't have the liver problems or the or the or the um, the, the early uh, sepsis problems, and and was was largely thought to not really be a disease. And then, except that the patients did start developing some of these neurophysiologic uh, problems uh, uh, over over time as as well. Um, <clears throat> So the the but but and and the and the thing that accumulates in both of the the, the, the disorders is a is a chemical called uh, galactitol. In addition, in in galactosemia or or, or galt deficiency, you you accumulate the gal one p, the galactose one phosphate. Um, and most of the because of the disparity in the in the neuropsychiatric symptoms in the two diseases. Um, the 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 uh, it was always it was always thought that that uh, it was the gal one p that was the damaging molecule, um, and the galacto um, the galactitol was really not doing very much, and, and 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 so most of the focus in in galactosemia has been on 
reducing the GAL1P by reducing the galactose in the diet. Uh, unfortunately, uh, patients uh, still still had fairly significant the the the, the, the neuro the neurophysiologic changes um, even when the GAL one P was was down um, didn't get down to the normal range but 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 pretty low um, so that was always a bit of a mystery uh, you know what's what's causing the problems if if it's not the GAL one P um, and uh, uh, it, it, it was, it was uh, only after a, a, a relatively recent review of a large cohort of, of galactokinase deficient kids um, that, that, that people started to, to, to think, well, maybe they're not so different after all. Maybe those galactokinase deficient kids are, and young adults were, were, were having similar problems, and, and, and maybe um, the, the problem was related to the galactitol uh, uh, rather than, than, than the, than the GAL1P. Oh, it's kind of